Athens was conquered by the Ottomans in 1456. Two years later, uh, Mehmed the Conqueror, the Ottoman Sultan, visited the, the town and he inaugurated somehow the Ottoman era for the city, which lasted up to 1831. During that time, uh, new buildings uh, appeared in, uh, in the very center of the, of the city, in the financial area where we are uh, now. And I need to say that the first uh, Ottoman buildings were created in 16th century and several decades after the conquest uh, of the city because the local Muslim community was rather limited to the, um, to the army people and very few uh, families. So when gradually more families, uh, Muslim families appeared in the area, there was um, a need for uh, more Islamic buildings for prayer or for uh, educational purposes and so on. So in the area of the ancient Roman Agora, um, there was um, a mosque uh, built and then a, a medrese, which is um, a school of a theological school of rather low level, I have to say. And then there were also um, buildings of public baths. There was a public bath behind me to the right, which is not extant anymore, because the idea of the early new Greek state was to erase all uh, non-glorious historical uh, levels that is Byzantine uh, and Ottoman era in order to present the, the classical antiquity or the Roman uh, era. So the bath uh, disappeared, but there is still another bath which is very close and it actually functions as a, as a museum of, um, of, uh, of water and the use of water and, uh, and so on. So um, in the vicinity there was also a very small mosque in order to, 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 to support the needs of the, of the local community and the people who were working in the area. So very clear, very near is also another um, ancient building which was called Orologion Kiristu. This is, this is a clock tower or rather a tower that uh, was um, accounting uh, the time. It was uh, built by, uh, in the ancient uh, era, but in the, in the Byzantine era it was used as a small chapel and then the Ottomans in the mid-18th century used it as a part of their teke, which is um, a dervish lodge for the mystics of Islam, the dervishes, to, uh, to do their own ceremonies. I'm sitting in front of the gate uh, the entrance gate to the Medrese of Athens, a beautiful building of the 18th century, which does not exist anymore. After the Greek Revolution of 1821, which led to the independence uh, of Greece, Ottoman monuments were unwanted, a dissonant uh, heritage. So a lot of uh, the Islamic uh, heritage uh, of the medieval and post-medieval town of Athens was demolished. I'm standing in front of the gate of the Medrese, which was one of the Ottoman buildings of the city, and the gate is the only sign that such a monument existed uh, in Athens. I'm sitting in front of the few, the very few uh, remains of what used to be one of the uh, Ottoman uh, mosques uh, in uh, the old city of uh, Athens the so-called small mosque, Kichuk Jami uh, in Turkish. We do not really know uh, the exact uh, time of, each, uh, uh, of this uh, building, but uh, it existed uh, in the 18th and uh, early 19th century. After the Greek Revolution and the establishment of the Greek state, Athens became uh, the capital city of uh, modern uh, Greece and uh, Ottoman uh, Islamic heritage was not relevant anymore. So the mosque was uh, demolished uh, sometime in the mid 19th century and today we can only see its ground plan uh, at the slope, uh, the slopes of uh, the Athens uh, Acropolis. Islamic Ottoman heritage in uh, the modern Greek uh, state was unwanted, not relevant, 
and uh, even today it is a difficult uh, heritage to negotiate uh, with. We have a lot of cases of uh, Ottoman uh, monuments which did not make it until uh, today uh, because uh, they were not uh, wanted uh, in the new national uh, state. Others fell in oblivion and uh, the few uh, which uh, remained were still negotiating their uh, survival uh, in uh, modern uh, Greece.